Okay, sometimes I get challenged in suggesting that the meter is an ancient measure and uh, because it supposedly was just invented by the French savants in 1799, taking the one ten millionth part of the quadrant from the pole to the equator through Paris, and that's a geodetic measure, so the, the, the meter is Earth commensurate. But many Earth commensurate units existed in the past, including the meter. So that was used. I'm going to give you four examples from the king's chamber. Obviously, the king's chamber is a very old structure. It's an ancient structure. And if it encodes the meter, then somebody knew the meter, OK, way back then. And there's a lot of other evidences for it. So haters are going to hate. You know, if you don't want to believe this, it's fine. You want to go by what you were taught from Wikipedia, your eighth grade teacher, you know, National Geographic or whatever. That's fine. But, you know, you can learn more than what your eighth grade teacher taught you, you know, if you want to. Okay, so here, here you go. <laughs> the meter in the king's chamber. Number one, the king's chamber perimeter in meters. What does that show us? So here's a uh, plan view of the king's chamber. We know it's 20 cubits long and it's 10 cubits wide. Okay, a double square. All right, so uh, that gives us, a, you see the green perimeter there, a perimeter of 60 cubits. Okay, but that is also 10 pi meters. 10 pi meters. So the, the meter's hidden in that it's connected to pi. But that same perimeter is 10 pi. doesn't seem to be by chance. seems intentional. The meter is in the king's chamber. Okay, example number two. I just discovered this one yesterday. Eight squares that have sides of phi squared meters fill the king's chamber. Okay, so this is another way of sort of, you know, uh, encoding uh, the meter. It's there. Okay, so Here's the plan view of the king's chamber. Now notice at the bottom, I've got five cubits, five cubits, five cubits, five cubits, dividing, you know, four, four sections there. So each one of these eight squares has sides of phi square meters. Phi squared is 2.618. So every one of these has, so it fill eight squares, all with the dimensions of the square side of phi squared meters. The meter seems to be there. This doesn't seem to be by chance. Seems much too powerful to me. This is intentional. Okay. It's a new discovery yesterday. Okay. Number three, the north or south wall diagonal of the king's chamber is exactly 12 meters. Okay. So, you know, here's the plan view of the, of the, uh, of the wall, the north or south wall, the king's chamber. Actually, actually, this is the elevation view, not the plan view. Okay, so the height is 11.18 cubits. Why this odd number? Because normally you have these, you know, 10 cubits, 10, 10, 20 cubits, these even measures. Well, it's because if you take the diagonal now of that wall, it comes out to exactly 12 meters. So it seems like one of the reasons for the height was to give us the 12 meters. So I'm suggesting this is the third use of the meter, hidden again and coded in the king's chamber. And then finally, the area, the area now of the west wall of the king's chamber encodes the meter to foot conversion. Wow. So this is more than just the meter. But let's look at this. Okay. So I did a, uh, an Instagram post. So this is, this is from the Instagram post I did about this. And, uh, you know, the west wall has the triangles Da Vinci used in his calculation of time, velocity, and gravity. Yes, Da Vinci did do that. It was a big story that came out recently from California Institute of Technology that Da Vinci was doing, you know, gravity before Newton. Okay, that's what came out. So here's the drawings that they found. And that drawing, you can see the, the vase is sort of pouring something. So that's the, the, the triangle that Da Vinci was drawing to talk about gravity and time. And that's the one that has the same dimensions as this west wall that we're looking at. So here's the west wall of the king's chamber. Okay, so it's 10 cubits by 11.11 .11 cubits because uh, that's the that's the uh, height that Robert Grant gives for it. Uh, there are sort of two floors, you know, in the king's chamber. So sometimes you can get a different measurement. That's that's the the the, the measurement for the height there. So if you convert these to feet, um, you know, Euler minus 1, 17.1833 feet for the 10 cubits and 19.21 feet for the 11.11 .11 cubits. Okay, so when you multiply those, that's what we do to get area, you get 328.02 feet squared. And look at this, 3.280, the same numbers there, that's the conversion factor of meters to feet. The area of the west wall of the king's chamber is encoding the meter to feet conversion. Wow, okay. So I, I realize this is not going to convince anybody, but I'm showing you there's a rational basis to say that the meter is ancient. The meter is encoded in the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid. Thanks for watching.